Aries, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your October finance and career readings and these are general readings, will not resonate with every Aries so if it does not resonate with you then please check your moon or rising sign, alright? Okay, so Aries, let's get started, let's see your what you're dealing with, what are your challenges, and what are the outcomes, okay? All right. So, Aries, here you go. Alright, so as I see Aries, uh, what you're dealing with when you begin the month of October is uh, firstly, I see release. So this could be for some of you, you could be leaving a job or you're moving on from something. Maybe you're shutting down business or shutting down your shop or you've got into a new job because I see also the lovers here. So, which uh, means, you know, a new relationship and this would mean a new partnership and so release with new partnership could mean that uh, for some of you, you could be coming out of or leaving, as I said, uh, some job, some project or some way of your, your career and changing it, okay? So you could be going in for a new job, you could be completing your education and going in for a new, uh, you know, starting somewhere, starting working somewhere, okay? So that's that's the kind of energy that I'm seeing. So maybe you are, uh, or you, you're leaving a job, going in for a business, or, uh, you know, leaving a business, going in for a job, whichever way, you, you got it, okay? Now, the challenge here is what I'm seeing is being logical about it or or maybe you're feeling that you've taken an impulsive a decision because I see the page affair with the four affair here. So maybe you feel that, uh, you know, you have uh, either it could be an opportunity which was coming for a long time do you know and it's going it's it's happening in october maybe you were waiting for it and it was taking its time and uh you were getting restless you were getting curious maybe you started writing to them you know or uh you went very you 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 wanted to be very logical about it okay and uh this was, or, or it could mean delay, or it could mean that you've taken up the offer. Maybe you're just, as I said, you're beginning something. So it, it could also mean that you're not very sure of the action that you've taken. Okay? After accepting it, now you're not very sure. You are questioning yourself. Did I do the right thing? Was it too fast? Should I... Should I have waited or maybe I would have joined, I could have joined a bit later. Why? Because supporting it is a four affair. Now, four affair is an energy of the needing to take rest, the needing to take time out to make a decision. So maybe for some of you, you went fast on this, okay? You, you quit or you, you started or you've joined a new organization or you're joining. Maybe you're quitting in September and joining in October. So, and now you realize that you should have taken a break of at least 15, 20 days.
taking a vacation, detox to your mind and then come back to work. That could be a situation here. Okay? Because I see this hasty uh, kind of decision, an impulsive decision, which you're questioning now. Because it's like, should I have waited? Should I have given it more thought? Did I do the right thing? Okay? Now, the solution for this is Aries. Uh, firstly, if you're feeling that, then uh, bring back your enthusiasm. Firstly, night of water. So, don't contemplate too much. Don't think. You've already done it. There's nothing that you can do to undo it. So, instead of thinking, be enthusiastic about it. Okay? And balance your emotions. Maybe that's your fear talking. That's your uncertainty talking. Don't let those fears, uncertainties or guilts or sorrows take over you. Okay? And this could also mean social networking because Knight of Water is a person who is very, who connects with people on a very emotional level. So for some of you, uh, it could mean that you should be connecting with whatever time, little time you have, you could be connecting with friends, family, and not putting your mind so much into negative things. We all get jittery, you know, when we are switching jobs or switching careers or starting something new or leaving something to do something else, we get jittery. Those, those are very common uh, emotions, but don't get carried away with it, okay? So don't get, uh, rather bring back your enthusiasm. You were enthusiastic before you, when you, when you took this offer. So let that enthusiasm alive. Keep it alive, okay? And secondly, the sun card is there. The sun is there. So this it will be an unhappy outcome. So don't think about wrong things. Don't think that, did I do the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Should I be taking this offer? Should I be, you know, maybe I could have taken a break before I jumped into this decision. Don't think so much. Don't overthink. Because now you're overthinking. Your, your, your problem here is you're overthinking it now. There's no point thinking now. You've already done it. Okay? But trust it. Whenever you did it, whenever you were releasing something and embracing something new, you're worth it. Because you're going to, this, this is focus on ideas. Focus on the new ideas that you're getting. Note them down if you forget them. Okay, and secondly, bring back your confidence because sun is all about confidence. It is. It could be for some of you, you are working in the government or in the media or in the creative industry, something to do with the sun. And uh, But whatever it is, it is happy outcome. It is a welcome change, okay? So don't think about the negative things. Bring back your enthusiasm. That is what I'm seeing in your finance for this month. Nothing is bad. It's just that you're thinking about all the bad things that might possibly go wrong. The outcome is awakening. I see this card. This is the hangman card. And this talks about seeing things from a different perspective. You know, uh, it is about seeing things from a different angle and seeing things what is important to you. So that is coming towards you. Maybe all these jittery things that you're feeling jittery about, you, you're seeing things from one way. You're seeing things from the negative way. Stop seeing it from the negative way and start seeing it from the positive way. Maybe this, this change was needed. Okay? And also I see the three of water. So this is again a very a celebration time. A good, a good uh, time. For some of you, as I said, I got this feeling you could be graduating, you could be completing education and jumping into work. So maybe that step is making you a bit jittery because now you are going to be into the real world of earning and responsibilities. So you're not sure whether you'll be able to do it. Did you say yes to the right company? You know, such, such thoughts could be in your mind. But don't worry, that's that's all going to turn out to be very good because your solution is be optimistic 
and your outcome is also very optimistic, okay? It, it's it's about having fun. So whatever time you have left in hand, just go out, relax, have fun. I don't see any problem in finances uh, in this month. But whatever changes uh, you're looking for in job, career, or if there are any changes happening in job and career, trust me, it's going to be a welcome change. It's not going to be something very bad. Rather, it's going to be a very welcome change. Okay? And could be a new partnership. Let me just check a few more cards and see what could be important for you. If there is any important message here. Maybe some, some messages could be important. A few cards. Yeah, see? In your problems... The first thing that came was imprisonment. You're trapped in your own thoughts and fears. It's your own thoughts and fears, Aries. Okay? That's why imprisonment is here. It's your own thoughts and your own fears. And that came in the problem. Okay? What is the solution? What is the solution? Marriage. Again. This is very similar to the lover's card. So the solution is a new partnership. So something new. Aries, I'm getting this feeling of a new job, a new contract, a new partnership. If you have been out of job for a long time, you could be getting a new job. Or you could be thinking of switching careers, changing your company, or starting something, doing something different. Okay? Okay. And the outcome, let me see the outcome. Journey. So, Aries, that explains all, okay? This is time to move. Journey as the outcome would mean that it is movement, okay? So you could be traveling to other cities, maybe you're relocating for some of you. For some of you, your job offer could be from a different city, you could be traveling. Or it could be a travel job. You could start exploring the world now. Or uh, you could be simply moving on from wherever you were. That's why you start with release and you're ending with journey. So new things, good things coming towards you, Aries. Finances look good for this month. Career looks good. There could be, our, if, if you are thinking of looking for a new career, a new job, this month you can at least start. And maybe this month, if, if you start, it's or if you've already started, you might see results, okay? Two messages from my Aries that could be important. Two messages from my Aries for finances that could be important. Let's get Artist, it came again. As I said, for some of you, the sun card was here. And I was talking about some of you. It could be in the creative field, something to do with creativity or government job. So the, here, one of the messages that I'm getting is of the artist. So engage in artistic activities. It could be beneficial for your career and every other area of your life. Maybe it helps you to cool your mind. So if you, whatever artistic bit you have, some of you love to sing, some of you love to paint, some of you are into sculptures, some of you just love doodling, but do that, okay? And some of you could be an artist. You could be a, an artist on social media. You could be an artist in, in real, like a theater artist or a movie star or a singer. This could be a good month for you or you could get a good break, Okay. And healer. So, if you're not an artist, both are very sun energy. Artist and healer. Both are sun energy. So, both talk about, if you're not an artist, you could be uh, something to do with health. You could be a Reiki specialist. You could be a doctor. You could be a medical professional. You could be a nurse. You could be a caregiver. You could be a psychiatrist. Mm, you know, you could be anything to do with healing. Either you have the gift of healing others, or for some of you, it, it could be that um, you are connecting with a healer. 
Maybe you have un, uh, you're undergoing or your health is not keeping very well. That's that's one of the issues with the fur of salt here and the healer here. Maybe for some of you, you're not feeling too well. Maybe you're down with the weather and you're feeling that this change that you've taken, was it too fast? Was it too early? You should have waited for some time, taking a break because you're not feeling too well. That could be for some of you. But for the others, it could be either you are uh, somebody who is in the creative field or somebody who is into the healing field or you could be even in pharma, working in pharma or working in any medical uh, to-do field because both are sun energy and sun came as your solution. So Aries, overall, it looks good and uh, money looks good. Situation looks good. Situation looks very positive. Now, you just have to come out of your negativity. Stop focusing so much on where things can go wrong. Rather, start focusing on all the good things that are coming with it. You'll start feeling better. And uh, specifically, if you are somebody to do with creativity or creative field or with a pharma or healing or medical professional field, this month could mean something for you. This month could be something uh, meaningful, uh, you know, worthwhile for you. All right, Aries, so this was your October career and finances reading. I'll see you soon with your general and your love readings. Till then, stay happy and stay and smile a lot. Bye.